spring is coming in Wisconsin. That is a very big deal. Ta-da! You know, it's always so exciting. Um, and what it does to me, of course, is it makes me want to get back into my house and start moving things around a little bit again. Just like when fall comes, I get that same kind of nesty feeling. Same thing happens to me in spring, except for in spring, it's a little bit different. In fall, I want to, you know, add all this warmth. And in spring, I kind of just want to loosen it all up and add little pops of color here and there. I know you're probably laughing out loud right now because you're thinking me adding in pops of color. I realize I live in a very colorful home already. So I have a really cool project that we're going to do together. And we're in my den on this beautiful gray couch, which I love. But you know, it's very neutral right here. So I need to get a little side table here and I have a very good thought for that. Add some pops together and you and I are gonna do a little decorating today. To the infinite torment of tantalus and ever tasting the lovely sweet of fruit that the dangles from above. Down to the longest train that stole my love away. Okay, you know, <laughs> I'm running around the house gathering up all of my goods, always searching in every room. You know, I literally go everywhere and I'm looking for stuff and I take things apart. And the great thing about taking everything apart is that then you can, you know, fix something up somewhere else and, you know, you'll always be, um, in the midst of an exciting new project. So you're probably wondering, what on earth is this girl gonna do with this chair? Well, I love this chair so much. Um, we got this at a flea market in France one year. Yum. And I am thinking, since it's not the kind of chair that you can sit on, as you can see, it's a rickety old thing, and that's what I love so much about it. I love how rickety and falling apart and wonderful it is. Um, but it's the perfect perfect little side table, don't you think? Like, I just think it's so perfect for that. So if you have one of those types of chairs, I know we all do, in our home that you can't sit on or you know you just put by a desk or somewhere else, use it as a cute side table. So here's my thought. Since it's neutral and neutral, I need to add some pops of color into this story. So I grabbed a few other little goodies that will give me that wonderfulness and that yummy color. And um, this is a cute little table throw that I stole out of one of our guest's rooms. And I love how the reds tie in with the walls and the blues are so beautiful with the couch. I also grabbed these off of a bed upstairs. I have no problem using bedroom type pillows. And I don't even consider these bedroom type pillows, but stealing things off my beds and using them somewhere else. And I love how these pillows totally brighten up this room and I love turquoise with red. Always think about cool color combinations and play around with them because you just never know, you know, what you're going to discover. Then I dug up a few boxes and books. You know me, this is a funky old box that I love. And, you know, I think this is kind of, you know, pretty perched on this chair. I do love the whole like country French story we've got going on too. You know, I dig that. Um, I found a fabulous um, necklace that I believe you and I made together in a different video. <laughs> and, you know, Sometimes I'll have little necklaces and things like these and I think they are perfect for tying onto a little lamp. So I grabbed this um, lamp and I love this little lamp but I feel like the shade is far too neutral in this story. So that's one thing I'm gonna change. I'll do that in just a sec here but let me just grab this stuff and get it all fixed up here and plug this in. So I grabbed this pretty little red shade um, to exchange with this brown shade. And I just feel like it's gonna be more interesting. I love too that this one has a little chinoiserie going on. You know, I love that kind of stuff anyway. Um, and while I think these are so pretty, it's just too much of a neutral story, like I said. So let's do the switcheroo here and pop this on. That's what, you know, and then the great thing is I'll be able to use that one on the little lamp that I stole it from. <laughs> So that's it. I know that is so quick and sweet and wonderful. And just remember, you know, I didn't spend a dime here. And I did a quick little switcheroo. I ran around the house, got stuff. It's fun. It pushes my creativity. It's inspiring to do this kind of thing. Oh, and I totally have to point this out because it's so cool. Okay. 
Speaking of repurposing things, this rug on the floor, which I love so much, is John's grandmother's. When she um, died, this was passed on to us. And it's so very beautiful. And I have to show you the wonderful thing about this rug is I didn't love the other side of it. And it sat in our basement for the longest time. And then one day I was looking for a rug and I decided, oh, we have got to flip this thing over. It's like, it looks like printed sizal. It's so beautiful and we love it this way. And it goes more with our whole lifestyle and look anyways. So if you've got a spare minute, you know, run around your house, find some little goodies. Maybe you've got an old chair that you too want to turn into a little side table and give your house a wonderful springtime flipper. In my, in my